Hey there again guys, this is sort of a thematic follow-up to um, my last video, which I guess now that I'm doing this, you could call it like maybe talking about philosophers which are very, very commonly misunderstood, and this time I wanna, I wanna talk about Hobbes, um, Thomas Hobbes the political philosopher and um I I want to like really try and sort of clear up the fact that and this is something that was called to my attention by a professor who um actually she's a uh, basically all but dissertation doctoral candidate um at harvard um but she was teaching at my at my community college yeah i know community college but hey we have we have harvard people in at mine so but like um she made me aware of the fact that again hobbes is one of those philosophers that people used to try to justify their, their, like, brutal, brutal political pragmatism and realism, because they, they think that Hobbes was implying in his entire, like, system of, of the way the state of nature works, right, where the the social contract and government are are meant to keep people from going crazy right because because if not they're gonna they're gonna steal from each other beat each other so and stuff like that and so the social contract works to to have that not happen right and well yeah that's well and good but then people sort of make the I, I would say not unreasonable ethical jump to say well then Hobbes thinks people are bad and what this professor and after thinking about it quite a bit reading more I, I kind of agree is that he's not actually saying that um what he's saying is that most people, in order to eat, in order to survive, they will do whatever it takes, with, um, even if it pushes them to the brink of immorality in doing so, right? So, he's not saying that people are inherently bad. What he's saying is that the state of nature is such that in order to survive people will do bad things right like say for example if i'm like i'm i'm a caveman or whatever and i have three kids and you know there's another uh, caveman family nearby um and but there's only a limited number of game let's say there's a big mammoth or whatever and we're trying to hunt it right for food and you know i'm gonna try my best to outcompete the other guy even if it means that I'm gonna have to kill him for it, because my family has to eat, right, and so, it's just more of a comment about the cruelty of nature, and, and in my opinion, than less about whether or not human beings are, are generally good or bad, and I think that's a nuance that is missed quite a bit in when when talking about these things and when talking about Hobbes so thank you very much guys